Welcome to our channel where we talk all things true crime. This video is for educational purposes based on public knowledge. We do give our opinions at the end, but please do your own research. We mean no disrespect for any mispronunciation of names or places. Let's get started. Jeffrey Epstein is back in the news after U.S. Judge Loretta Preska ordered the release of court documents. There are thousands of pages in these documents. There are several celebrities and prominent figures that are being named in these documents. I'm sure most of y'all have heard about Jeffrey Epstein, but let's go back to the beginning. Epstein began his professional life by teaching at the Dalton School, despite not having a college degree. After being dismissed from the school, he entered the banking and finance sector. He worked at Bear Stearns in various roles before it collapsed in 2008. He then started his own firm. He became a money manager for billionaires including Les Wexner, who is the founder and CEO of L Brands. L Brands included The Limited, Abercrombie & Fitch, Express Inc., Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and Pink. Epstein worked with Les for around 20 years. During the 90s and 2000s, he made millions by inserting himself in various major deals from some of the world's wealthiest people and the biggest financial institutions. When he died in 2019, his net worth was roughly $560 million. Epstein had several lavish properties. These included a townhouse on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, a mansion in Palm Beach, Florida, a ranch in New Mexico, an apartment in Paris, and two private Caribbean islands. It's most likely that y'all have heard about his island named Little St. James. This island acquired local nicknames such as Epstein's Island, Island of Sin, and PDF File Island. Y'all know what that stands for. Epstein developed an elite social circle and procured many women and children whom he and his associates essayed. In 2005, Epstein was being investigated by the Palm Beach police after parents reported that he had essayed their 14-year-old daughter. Federal officials identified 36 girls whom Epstein had allegedly essayed. In 2008, Epstein pled guilty to procuring a child for illicit acts and soliciting a lady of the night. He served 13 months in county jail, despite the serious nature of those charges. Epstein was allowed to leave regularly as part of a work release program. This program allowed him to be out six days a week, 12 hours a day. Although he was in custody, he had plenty of freedom to continue his horrible crimes. The plea deal forced Epstein to register as an offender. However, many of the world's wealthy and powerful continued to associate with him. Gates had several meetings with Epstein after his 08 conviction. Gates was photographed with several different models introduced by Epstein. A Gates spokesperson stated that Epstein would spontaneously bring people in for photos with Gates. The spokesperson said Gates would only meet with Epstein for philanthropic reasons and now regrets it. Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, was seen with Epstein in New York right after Epstein's release from jail. Prince Andrew claimed that he traveled to New York to end their friendship in person. U.S. President Bill Clinton has been brought up multiple times in the release documents and has been photographed with Epstein. A French modeling agent, Jean-Luc Brunel, was suspected of scouting girls for Epstein. Brunel ended it all for himself in Paris jail in 2022 while awaiting trial for his S.A. accusations. Epstein was arrested again in 2019 on federal charges for sex trafficking minors in Florida and New York. He supposedly killed himself in prison. Ghislaine Maxwell is Epstein's friend and former girlfriend. They were in a romantic relationship for several years in the early 1990s. Maxwell is the daughter of the late media mogul Robert Maxwell and had met Epstein in 1991 through a mutual friend. The nature of the relationship is still unclear and has been a subject of legal scrutiny. They remained closely associated for more than 25 years until Epstein's death in 2019. When Epstein was arrested in July 2019, Maxwell was evading authorities and hiding out in a secluded New Hampshire property. In July 2020, she was arrested and charged with trafficking offenses. Maxwell has been convicted on several charges related to S.A. These charges are related to her role of recruiting and grooming teenage girls for Epstein. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison. While many victims of Epstein and Maxwell are unknown or wish to stay anonymous, there are some that have came forward. Jane met Maxwell and Epstein at a youth camp in Michigan in the summer of 1994 when she was only 14. 
She described her encounters with Epstein every two weeks for the next three years. Sometimes Maxwell would be in the room when she was being essayed. Kate had met Maxwell around 14 in Paris. She described Maxwell as being very sophisticated and very elegant. She gave Maxwell her phone number. Virginia Jufre has been very vocal about her experiences with both Epstein and Maxwell. She filed a defamation lawsuit against Epstein. And the court documents released as part of the lawsuit detail Epstein's essay and trafficking of underaged girls. Johanna met Epstein through Maxwell in 2001 when she was a student at Palm Beach Atlantic College in Florida. She thought she was being recruited for a job as a home help. Later, she testified she was recruited for illicit acts with Epstein. She was 21 years old at the time. Johanna and Virginia have claimed that they were trafficked to Prince Andrew. The court's documents tied to Epstein detailed his essay in trafficking of underage girls and included the names of 150 people who were in contact with him. The exact number of victims is unknown and the investigation into Epstein's crimes is ongoing. There are multiple people that have been named in the court documents. Some of these are believed to be clients to Epstein's trafficked victims. The list included a lot of prominent people, such as Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Lee Waxner, Alan Dershowitz, Bill Richardson, Reed Hoffman, Lawrence Summers, William Burns, Glenn Dubin, George J. Mitchell, Al Gore, David Copperfield, and Michael Jackson. In the recently released documents, a lot more people were named in connection to Epstein. While this doesn't automatically mean there was any wrongdoing on their part, however, they were named. Hillary Clinton, John Connolly, Leonardo DiCaprio, Richard Branson, Stephen Hawking, Kevin Spacey, George Lucas, Kat Blanchett, Naomi Campbell, Heidi Klum, Bruce Willis, Bianca Jagger, Cameron Diaz, and Chris Tucker. This is just a fraction of the people named in the documents. These are the more well-known figures to the public. Y'all can find a complete list online. The documents that were released are not the client's list. It's not the black book that everybody's been wanting to be released to the public. Hopefully, Epstein's black book will be released eventually. It is worth mentioning that J.P. Morgan Chase agreed to pay around $290 million to settle a lawsuit brought on behalf of Epstein's victims. The lawsuit has alleged that the largest U.S. bank ignored warning signs about its client, Epstein, during a 15-year relationship. J.P. Morgan will not admit liability in the case. The bank put out a statement regretting its association with Epstein. The lawsuit was filed by an unnamed accuser, identified only as Jane Doe 1. She claimed that the bank knowingly facilitated, sustained, and concealed the frequent cash withdrawals Epstein's made to pay the young women he trafficked while profiting from the deals and clients that Epstein brought in. The bank said that any civil liability should rest with Jess Staley. He was a former top executive who had befriended Epstein. Staley said the bank is trying to deflect blame for its own failures and has tried to get the claims dismissed. The complaints against him remain active. There is another lawsuit filed against the bank last year in federal court that is still pending. This case was brought on behalf of the government of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Other things to know regarding this case. Supposedly, there are videos of the S.A. Prince Andrew was stripped of his military and royal titles by the late Queen Elizabeth. He settled a lawsuit with Virginia for $12 million. He still denies her allegations that she was forced into intimacy with him on three occasions. In the documents released, there was a part that stuck out, and that was a puppet that looked like a big toothed caricature of Prince Andrew. In Johanna's deposition, she said that they put the puppet on Virginia's lap and I sat on Andrew's lap, and they put the puppet's hand on Virginia's breast and Andrew put his hand on my breast, and they took a photo. The comment Epstein made about Bill Clinton liking them young, referring to girls, 45% of Americans don't think that Epstein ended it all himself. Many believe that he was murdered because of the compromising information he had on powerful people. Epstein's brother hired a forensic pathologist, and he stated that Epstein was possibly strangled. So what do we think? I was actually really disappointed on like this big pump up of all these documents being released mm -hmm. and then it was really nothing. I it mean, really wasn't. I mean, a lot of the names had already been out there. Some of them maybe you didn't know, but again, it doesn't necessarily mean there was any wrongdoing on their behalf. One of the girls, I can't remember which one, had said that 
he liked to name drop like celebrities and stuff when he would talk to them i think just to make himself seem more important you know all i can think about right now is high school yep the super popular cocky guy that's trying to prove how popular and cool he is saying names but also like if he is really popular everybody's gonna be like oh i really hope i can go to johnny's party i hope he invites yeah. me and then you get invited you go to johnny's party like that's what I kind of feel like this, which is maybe a weird, like, analogy, an but analogy, yeah, but the so-called elite like, circle. Like, oh, he's elite. He's with all these people. He knows these people. Oh, we've got to get in that inner circle, you know. Yeah, that's I'm not sure. the inner circle you want to be in. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but I'm curious to know if, like, how many people didn't know and were just like, that's know. awesome. And then it's like, what? And then, like, only some of them were on the inside club. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we had talked about this earlier about his plane. Yeah. And its name. See, I'm wondering uh, if that was a nickname before or after. Oh. I can't remember if it was before or after he went got arrested in like 2019. You mean like he named it or the public named Maybe it? Maybe the media dubbed it that. Oh. We need to research that. If y'all know, let us know because it's disgusting. Because who would get on a plane that is nicknamed that? And it the nickname is Lolita? Yeah, Express. Lolita Express, which is terrible. Yes. But, I mean, after he got arrested, there were people who were like, yeah, he seemed to be surrounded by girls that were just, you know, they looked really young. It's like, really? They were young. They were young, and why didn't you know, like say something security-wise? Yeah. Or if you're another celebrity and not worried about being fired or, you know. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. Oofed, yeah. I'm curious about, like, the workers there. There's I mean, no way they didn't know. No. He had some weird-ass paintings all over the house. Yeah. Not only of, like, the ones of the presidents, former presidents that came out. I know mm -hmm. there was one of Clinton that's really creepy. Mm -hmm. And then even of um, Bush, W. But, like... I think there was just a lot of, like, graphic type material everywhere. Yeah, it just looked disgusting, to be honest. Uh, it's definitely one of those rabbit holes when you go down. It's just like you don't want to go down it. No, you know, my first time down this rabbit hole was when the pandemic struck, when it yes. began. When we were all on lockdown, it was like, you online, and then you see something, and you're like, who's that? And then you read it, and then you're like, what? And then, like, that just keeps spiraling yeah. out of control, and then it was like... <gasps> This guy's a creep. Yeah. yeah. There was a documentary that I'd watched. I think it was during the pandemic. It was a reporter. She was doing something maybe for the BBC. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they would not release it. They would not air it. And she had went to some of these parties and like she had like video and like what audio was going on? of stuff. Yeah. And like they're basically like, yeah, we're not airing that. You think it's a Prince Andrew? Is that like maybe but i mean this was already after allegations all that stuff and then him getting stripped of his title and that's so weird why wouldn't they want to get the truth out there exactly because other high probably profile people or profile people would be implicated and could have been working there let's just be honest mm -hmm. there's a lot of reporters that have tried to dug in like dig into the epstein thing while it was happening like basically after i think the 2005 when the conviction first yeah happened and, he went and it for was like 13 months which was a joke of a that sentence. was ridiculous oh my gosh i don't understand mm -mm. like i was listening to a guy on youtube which i really like him he's a lawyer but he was just like that is like nothing that is a nothing charge for the like sentence sentencing the, charge. Yeah. the allegation not only just the like 13, 13 months, months in, in general. general he was just like no you would be going release yeah he, he's just like you'd be going away for a long time that's not so crazy here 13 months oh yeah well you can go ahead and get out for work and yeah, really just keep doing it he wasn't supposed to even leave like the area but he was on planes and stuff yeah. right? there's like photos and stuff of him like still being keep himself it, <laughs> keep it on keep it on <laughs> yeah taking photos and that's the thing too is they would be like getting onto planes and stuff visibly underage girls would be there nobody questioned it nobody said anything that's so weird it's like, so disgusting, like, how, like... The, the weird part is that people just look the other way. Yeah. So many people look the other yeah, way. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's so gross now in our society. If you're rich and you're powerful, they think they can get away with anything. Yeah. And it's because of this. Like, they could be paid off. Yep. Or 
I don't know. You got dirt on somebody else. I don't know. So keep your oh, mouth like shut. Blackmail yeah. Blackmail them, bribe them. Yeah. Because supposedly, I think Epstein supposedly tried to blackmail Bill. I don't know. It was like something else. Like, again, there's so much related to this. And then recently, um, I forget her name. The blonde that used to be on Fox. Oh, um, Kelly? Kelly something. I think I know. She's got like a YouTube channel. She insinuated he ain't even dead. I saw that. that. I'm going to be like hearing from him soon. I'm going to be hearing from him. What? Like, that's really weird. I'm assuming she means like maybe recordings or something oh, yeah. like that. But, but I was, was just insinuated. Like, what? Yeah, I know. When I heard that, I was like, what is <laughs> she talking about? Can't say anything right now, but the more I can, I will. It's like, wait, what? Maybe it's just like a PR stunt. Maybe their videos would be released of maybe him talking or. Mm hmm. I don't know. But again, they have the information of the people that were quote unquote clients. I don't understand why that has not been released, period. Yeah, like the flight logs and the client list, mm -hmm. I feel like are more important than just who went to a party of his. You nobody, know what I mean? Yeah, nobody cares about that. No, nobody does. Like, people want to know, like, who are these people? What are they doing? That you know, are... are they out there still hurting other people? Yeah. Like... Just because you have money does not mean you get to just do whatever the if you want yeah no not at all when you're talking about him possibly like bribing other people or, or blackmailing other people it made me think of that one cult with the blonde girl from smallville <laughs> you no know, this was like an actual cult but basically whenever you joined it and probably a lot of cults are like this but um you had to tell them like your deepest secret that yes. nobody knew so then they would have that on you to leverage over you so that you couldn't leave the cult if you were working for somebody like that why would you continue to work for them I don't know. Like I the wouldn't. the girl that told her parents, I think she only came out and told her parents after she it dawned on her that her sister was around Epstein and she was younger than her. So like, she, and she was also being yep. abused. I'm sure, like trained to be a masseuse. Yeah, because that was Virginia's whole thing. Is like she wanted to go to school and they told her she could go to school. And I've seen a lot of disgusting comments online about like the 20 year old the 21 year old that has ne they're like she's a grown woman and she's having you know relations with well in this case prince andrew but at the same time when you're being forced to do that that's still illegal it doesn't matter if she's a 20 year old woman if they're saying hey you have to do this with this person that's what is. I agree. And he flew her around, right? I mean, like, the thing is, though, there was had one... her do it for other people? Yeah. And there was one incident where this girl, like, maybe it was a girl that only saw him so much type thing, like... Occasionally. A few weeks, or every few weeks type thing. But one of them had said that he told them, if you don't come back, I will find you and bring you back. So imagine being a younger girl, or even a young woman... That's terrifying. They probably felt like they were trapped into it. They were trapped into it. Or they would even threaten, like, their family. That something would happen to their family if you, they didn't do it. You have this rich, powerful man with all these connections that can, like, saying ruin these it. things to uh, you. Yeah, no, like, like that, your life would he's be ruined. And... bragging that he knows, you know, all these politicians, these presidents, yeah. you know. That would be so intimidating it took a lot of guts for the girls to come forward that did. Yeah. Was Virginia the first one? I think she was one of the first ones, but I think she lives in Australia now. I would be out too. Because you have to think. Sorry, I was really obsessed with finding out. Yeah. The cult was the, the Nexium sex cult. Whoa. I've it never was heard really of that. weird. It was like there was one guy at the front of the cult. It's it, The girl was an actress, Allison Mack. Her name was Allison Mack. I guess she was just released this year, so I'm going to have to look into that. But I guess, but that's what it makes me think of. Like, yeah. Releasing... Well, I mean, that would make sense. If you're doing illegal shit and you know you're doing illegal stuff, you're going to want to make sure that they're not going to go and snitch on you. Yeah. Because like, if you try to take me down, safe. I'm taking you down. Which that's just like the basis of all criminal activities, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I would think... Although... Cause that, yeah, because that wasn't that the whole thing is he had all these photos, the videos, audio. Yep. So then if they tried to step out, basically, he'd be like, well, got you. <laughs> I'm about to release this, but wouldn't he be releasing himself? It'd be at his house. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But again... It always at his house, but... But it might be more detrimental to, like, a freaking governor. 
or something for their reputation they'd want to keep their reputation Especially, like their image it's their image and like, like they have some wholesome image. yes they're such a good person and this would be a completely different story if they're just all going down there partying drinking having parties with each other like nobody cares it's all consensual it's all consensual like if it's consensual y'all do whatever you yeah, want you do you <laughs> but when, when you're when miss maxwell's going out recruiting girls tricking them into thinking they're getting jobs like a real job and then kind of watch them and observe them to see how they're gonna oh yeah they be. didn't target rich people no it was like girls that had already been through crap girls that were poor well and like um i think the one that thought she was going to be like the re- answer in the phones she did do that for like the first day yeah, or so and then they would and test them they were tested and i think they'd like make jokes and see how they would respond because like if they're going to be like super crude and uptight they're going to be like highly offended by certain things that they say and so then it started off like so they watched watched her and observed her, tested her, and then was like, hey, you want to make money? A hundred bucks an hour rubbing feet? Who wouldn't? Yeah. I think today a lot of people would rub some feet for a hundred bucks. Yeah. But, and then it would just It wasn't kind the of job a, title. No. It does It's like the whole massage thing. Like, can't go into it too much, but that's just disgusting. Because it would be like underage girls, mm-hmm. and they'd have to be in their bra and panties. Ugh. And then he, they would massage them, and then he would turn over of course he would while creep. he was massaging them and like yeah okay we'll stop there yeah i'm himself. not gonna say too much yeah. more he's just disgusting he's disgusting and they should be ashamed of themselves let's just be honest and the fact that they didn't like even if you went there sorry and you saw this and that you're like holy sh-, like yeah what the what's going on why didn't anybody say anything you know what i'm thinking though now like you said, that BBC reporter tried to get some of it yeah. in. What if some people tried to say something, but they said it to the wrong person? True. And they brushed it under the rug and didn't report it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe. That's true. That is a possibility. Because, you know, you'll have certain celebrities now. I I was just listening to one, and it was, uh, what's her name? Ruby Rose? Oh, yeah. She was like, stop making jokes about this. Because I guess at the Oscars, they were still making jokes about like Epstein, you know, his island, the clientele. We'll just say that there are certain type of people like it was a comedian, but he had made some joke and it was like he was from the Midwest. So he's not one of those people. Okay. It was stupid, but she was just like, no, like, stop making jokes about this. There's it's nothing not funny, funny about no. this. Are they planning on releasing any more documents? I don't know if there's any more in this set um, because there was, oh my God, I think it was like close to 3,000 pages. They have, I think, his address book. So that would be like his closest friends. The ones that he interacted with the most. The notes? Is there notes in that book? Probably, to be honest. Like what the preferences Just like are his, like stuff? the gross thing about Clinton liking them. Like he had a note written there somewhere? I don't know, but he had told the girls that. Oh, the gr- girls testified, said that. But I'm just saying, that. like, but, oh, yeah, you know, it wouldn't pages. be out of the realm of possibility if he wrote, like, next to the person of their preferences. preferences. Which is disgusting. Mm-hmm. The, someone has the book, right? Like, it exists. Somebody has it. So, oh, it's so funny, because I'd listen to... Somebody has supposedly found a black, like, address book. I think it was in New York in, like, the 90s, and they didn't do anything with it. And then they found it and was like, oh, my God, this is Epstein's, like, address book. Oh, like, they just put it back and had it forever? Yeah, like, they picked it up and then just, like, kind of forgot about it. They sold it on eBay. Recently? And then some like guy had it years? or something. So it's like, but it's like they're trying to authenticate it, like to see if it's actually his, because it was like some guy bought it. It was just bizarre. That's weird. But then it's like even more like, well, why would you sell it on eBay? Why wouldn't you turn it over to investigators? Because well, they're just like, I might as well get some money out of this, I guess. You know, she I... needed tires for her car. If I, <laughs> the girl needed tires, so she girl. sold this. It was like maybe it Felt. maybe don't know. <laughs> Felt I need some grocery money. Uh, <laughs> no, if I found something that I thought was evidence, I would turn it over. But if I'm gonna be real with you, everything we've seen the last several years, I'd be taking a recording or photos of the information of everything before I turned it over. Yeah, because it could just disappear. Yep, never be seen again. But yeah, no, it was. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is bizarre but like ah this might be that you know person's uh book what what made her think it was his just like the names and stuff in it i guess like it the... didn't have like monogram <laughs> on the front of it no but i think like maybe they called people in it and asked if they knew him interesting and so like but no and then the guy that bought it off of ebay was like you know maybe it was you know the real thing maybe not it was like 35 <laughs> I, it was like not very much money oh i was like how much did just 30 five dollars what kind of tire can you buy with that i don't know but it seemed like it wasn't very much it was like something silly like like under 100 bucks you think i don't know i'd have to go back and listen because i was listening to it was like this just sounds like bs like some made-up story so i don't know it's just weird because a lot of people have been putting out like all these lists we've been seeing it for years oh my God, yes it's so stupid well, people are making stuff up just like the whole thing with um stephen hawking his name appeared one time in those documents but it said nothing about nothing about nothing it referenced some dinner at his house yeah but there's all these things going around oh, there's so many memes some of them hilarious but not true you yeah. know what i mean so like i watched a guy on youtube he actually actually pulled oh, yes. up the document and literally you can you know control f for find and type in certain words and when he typed in hawking he only came up one time yeah and so it's kind of like oh stephen hawking was reported in this document let's, let's run with this let's do some clickbaity things and then yeah. it just turned into a whole whole meme sesh oh my um, god it's also just annoying like i'll follow people like on instagram and this one person is like oh i have the list blah 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 and then it's like follow the link in my bio and it's yeah and see somebody supposedly had a hold of the list before it got redacted yeah because there was a partial list released right when maxwell was on trial but a lot of stuff was the, redacted the, the flight logs right yeah but like yeah. last names and stuff like okay anybody's name can be jesse not that jesse was on the list i'm just saying like or smith that's, or, like, that's <laughs> all you would see you, like a lot of it was redacted so it really yeah. wasn't useful information and it's like so yeah i think a lot of people got hyped up about these documents being released yep and it was a it was it's a, a big letdown especially if you're sitting there reading it god i'm glad i didn't read the 900 page deposition but yeah the whole thing with virginia having to file a defamation claim is because she it had surpassed the time limit of her oh, like, filing for herself so like then she did on... it that basically as a defamation claim oh, okay because the uh statutes of limitations yes, had, had, out had on, passed on there's literally a photo of her with i've seen that photo i think everybody has seen it and he's still like i don't know her never seen I've her never before in my life <laughs> and it's like a real photo it's like they've already had it i was gonna say it's, it's like stuff. the photos i used to take with my 110 camera yeah. like yeah it's not it's not like a photo that could it doesn't look like a photo that could be faked in my opinion this photo my i think has been opinion the, well i think like once she started to do like lawsuits and stuff it came out oh, okay as part as that but i mean photo itself it was has been indicated yes it was authenticated to be real the other thing is hilarious about him is she in her <laughs> deposition talked about how he was sweaty <laughs> oh no 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 and his rebuttal was well at the time i was taking a medication and i didn't sweat at all oh instead of i wasn't on you and i wasn't so basically near you. like i can dispute your claim that i was sweating because i was taking a medication that made me not sweat then why, that's so did he admit to being with her no not? he's still claiming he don't know who she is but he settled a lawsuit for 12 million dollars but if someone's like he sweats a lot and then he's like i don't sweat. I could prove that i wasn't sweating why don't you prove you weren't with her dumbass like, like oh that was supposed to make it better yeah. well she's lying I, it wasn't me I wasn't as i don't sweat <laughs> whatever happened like all of his workers have any of them because isn't it the virgin islands that have a lawsuit yeah because i know that they weren't happy about the island i believe they were trying to investigate like at the same time or even like before mm -hmm. the locals call it sin island and then escalated to pdf island after that yeah um and kind of like he has that ranch in new mexico like looking at the map it's like a whole town like it is a lot of land that he owned that he had owned and so again it's just like i feel like it's one of those things where it's a privacy thing and i'm sure he had a lot of security he probably like made everybody sign like non-disclosure non but i'm sorry if i sign a non-disclosure and i see that you're creep i'm just gonna bounce i don't know 
because you're not gonna put that on me i'm no. not gonna live with being complicit in all of this just ignore it i don't it. want yeah. anything to do with it no and i might be a narc i would tell them that i like i mean is it really being a narc though? it's not but if you see like these like 13 14 year old girls there yeah i get it like being an adult now like i could look at somebody in probably their early 20s and be like they look like a child they all look like children to me now but i mean could you like literally look at somebody like you could tell they're not even like fully like developed developed mm -hmm. their mannerism it'd be like that's a fucking child yeah <sighs> but yeah maybe eventually they'll actually so off it like release it but it just makes it seem like it might never be released so what do you guys think? You think it's weird the timing of these documents coming out? What about the fact that there really wasn't too much new information released? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications for future videos. Until next time, stay safe.